Hi, I'm Taylor Root, and I'm here to talk to you about Black History Month and some important people. Jack Johnson became the first African American man to hold the World Heavyweight Champion Box title until 1908. He held on to the belt until 1915. John Mercer Langston was the first black man to become a lawyer when he passed the bar in Ohio in 1854. When he was elected to the post of town clerk for Brown Helm, Ohio in 1855, Langston became one of the first African Americans ever elected to public office in America. John Mercer Langston was also the great uncle of Langston Hughes, famed poet of the Harlem Renaissance. Thurgood Marshall was the first African American ever appointed to the U.S. Supreme Court. He was appointed by President Lyndon B. Johnson and served on the court from 1967 to 1991. George Washington Carver developed 300 derivative products from peanuts, among them cheese, milk, coffee, flour, ink, dyes, plastics, wood stains, soap, linoleum, medicinal oils, and cosmetics. Haram Rhodes Revels was the first African American ever elected to the U.S. Senate. He represented the state of Mississippi from February 1870 to March 1871. Shirley Chrisholm was the first African American woman elected to the House of Representatives. She was elected in 1968 and represented the state of New York. She broke ground again four years later in 1972 when she was the first major party African American candidate and the first female candidate for President of the United States. In 1992, Dr. Mae Jemison became the first African-American woman to go into space aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavor. During her eight-day mission, she worked with U.S. and Japanese researchers and was a co-investigator on a bone cell experiment. Madam C.J. Walker was born on a cotton plantation in Louisiana and became wealthy after inventing a line of African-American hair care products. She established Madam C.J. Walker Laboratories and was also known for her philanthropy. In 1940, Haiti McDaniel was the first African-American performer to win an Academy Award, the film industry's highest honor, for her portrayal of a loyal slave governess in Gone with the Wind. In 2009, Barack Obama became the first African-American president in U.S. history. He occupied the White House for two consecutive terms, serving from 2009 to 2017. This month's theme is National Missing Person Day. We pulled out these books because they have to do with our month. We have kidnapping, missing people, people randomly disappearing. Hi, my name is Taylor Root and I'm with some more foreign exchange students. Who are you guys and where are you from? My name is Liat Simale, I'm 17 and I'm from Germany. Um, my name is Ramita Rajem, and you can call me Pim. I'm from Thailand, and I'm 17. So, what was your life like back home? I live in a city called Göttingen, and it's in the middle of Germany. And I go to the Felix Klein Gymnasium. And I live with my parents, my mom, Alexandra, who is a computer IT programmer, and my dad, Michael, who is a firefighter, and my cat, Lily. Uh, I live in Rayong province, which is at the east of Thailand, and I live with my parents. My dad, Chumpon, is a judge, and my mom, Rashini, is a work about the public health. I go to Rayong with Yakom School, which is pretty big compared to Harvard. It's like 3,600 students, and I do track back home. So when did you guys arrive and who is your host family? I arrived August 11th and I live with Ashton Rowan and Avery Cable, so the Cable family. Uh, I arrived in August and I live with the Beards family. What has your experience here been like so far? Uh, I really like it here. It's really different than home, but I really like it. And I've done cross country and basketball so far. Uh, I kind of like it here and I've done cross country and I'm going to do track for next season. Thank you guys for watching. This girls take it away. Uh, <laughs> ich wünsche euch ein schönes Wochenende. Good morning Harper Creek. It's time for your daily announcements. Attention all boys interested in playing baseball this spring. There will be a brief meeting in the cafeteria after school on Wednesday, February 28th. Harbor Congress will be meeting on Wednesday, February 28th at 1.30 p.m. in the office conference room. If you're interested in taking Segment 1 for driver's training, there will be a parent meeting on March 5th from 5.30 to 7 in the health room. 
Attention NHS, seniors, and anyone else looking for service hours. Beta Lake is hosting a STEM Literacy Night on Thursday, March 8th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Please sign up in the NHS info area near Dr. Super's room. Attention NHS, seniors, and anyone looking for service hours. The Battle Creek Symphony has their West Side Story concert on March 3rd and are in need of volunteer ushers. Please contact this email if you're interested. You can get a free concert and service hours at the same time. The deadline for students to take KCC classes for fall of 2018 is May 18th. Students must have their entire application completed. Any student interested in taking AP exams should sign up in the guidance office with Ms. Oaks no later than March 23rd. The cost is $94 per exam. If you are interested in playing lacrosse this spring, pick up a registration form in the athletic office. Also, there is conditioning and open gym on Mondays and Wednesdays, 6 to 8 p.m., and Sundays, 2 to 3.30 p.m. Please check the list outside the cafeteria or Mr. Runner's room to see if the yearbook has received your senior picture. 107 senior pictures have been submitted, but they're missing about 60, so get your senior pictures turned in. You can send them to this email address. Attention all aspiring artists. The high school is looking to promote its talented students and showcase your abilities. Students are encouraged to submit their artwork for the first time of the annual Harper Creek Art Prize. Students' work will be exhibited here at the school from March 8th through the 15th and at parent-teacher conferences. Students will be allowed to vote as well as the public. Cash prizes are as follows. A $100 grand prize and 50, 30, and 20 for first, second, and third place. See Mr. Oaks and Ms. Hall for more information, but you must sign up by March 1st. The Guitar Club will be meeting in the broadcast studio next Wednesday, February 28th from 3 to 4 p.m. All are welcome. Come out to the Harper Creek High School Band and Jazz Band Concert on Monday, February 26th at 7 p.m. This is Julie. And this is Shelby. Catch you on the fly side. I'm Jackson. And I'm Joey. And welcome to Beaver Sports Live! And if you haven't tuned into the Olympics yet, there's only a few more days to do so. The current medal count for the United States is at 21, putting them in fourth place. And to wrap this news up, we're going to have a little guys and girls basketball update. They both have games tonight at home against our rival, the Marshall Red Hawks. It's always a great rivalry with a great atmosphere. I hope to see everyone there to make this atmosphere amazing. Good luck to both teams competing. I'm Joey. And I'm Jackson. And thanks for watching Beaver Sports Live. I want to talk to you a moment about a very serious topic. In almost all school shootings, kids know about that someone is planning something ahead of time and they don't say anything. And they don't say anything because in our society we worry about being labeled a snitch. How could you live with yourself if something happened that could have been prevented? There's two easy ways to get a hold of me. Number one, you can text me. It's 409-1089, it will be completely anonymous. And part of that is, if you uh, tell me information that leads directly to the safety or security of our building, such as drugs or weapons in our building, I'll give you $50. It's not $50 in your lunch count, it's $50 cash. The second way is through texting OK to say. It's a statewide program. All you have to do is text OK to say, that is 652729 and you can text a tip and it will be completely anonymous. Two different ways that you can help out to ensure that our building is safe and secure. Thanks for your time. Hi, we are some of the protesters from Tuesday. We are protesting because we want our school to be a safe environment. We don't want to have to worry about mass shootings in our building. In 2018 alone, there has been 18 circumstances in which a gun has gone off in a school setting, two which have been in our home state of Michigan. They have caused 22 deaths and 40 people injured, and that's not counting the mass shootings outside the school community. On March 14th at 10 o'clock, there is another march planned by the Women's March Movement. It is 17 minutes for 17 lives. There is also another march planned for April 20th, which is also the anniversary of the Columbine shooting. It starts at 10 o'clock. We want Harper Creek to unite for all of these marches. marches.